Jeff. Three, two, one, hit. We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic man. Better than he was before. Better. Stronger. Faster. How old are you now? I'm old. I'm 53 years old. 53? Yeah. And uh, when were you born? Uh, 1948. 1948? I think my father was born in 1948. Yeah, that's why I demand respect from you other guys, because uh, I figure that, you know, I'm like a mature infant. One is banging your head. I, well, I get frustrated sometimes if I make a mistake because I'm like a perfectionist. Three, four, five. <laughs> 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 you look like shit. <laughs> the skull was a situation where I was trying to create another identity for myself because reality sucks. I want to be a superhero with a big skull on my underwear. Coca-Cola gives a smooth texture. When I shave with Coca-Cola, actually it's Diet Coke, because the, uh, like the sweet and low part of the Diet Coke gets my beard up just a little bit, and it really makes for a nice smooth shave. Um, if I use coffee, coffee stops the bleeding. Coffee is a coagulant. Clots the bleeding. Really? Sometimes I use coffee as an aftershave, sort of clot the bleeding out. Ooh, I, I give the world my ass anytime. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh, the world and reality suck. They fuck Jeffrey. I hear voices. A lot of times they're saying, like, uh, schmuck, what are you doing with your mind? Do something else. Schmuck. Get out of the truck already, man. You've been next to electronic graphics, electronic machines too long. It's like, and the signals, they're trying to control my, those, those signals you think, they're TV signals. They're trying to control my brain thoughts. They're trying to turn me against people in the world. And stuff like that. Shut the you fuck up, you're you driving me nuts. I remember, in my dream, I had died. And like, you know how you have an after-body, yeah, after-life experience, out-of-body experience, near-death experience? But anyway, I saw the white light, and an angel came down. The angel said, if we gave you one more chance of life, what would you do? And I said, I have something to do. And the next scene that took place it was like I was in Yankee standing by the fence and I was hitting Ron Aruda. I was choking him and I hit him and the yellow tooth came out and then the purple tooth came out and then the orange tooth came out and then the green tooth came out. Well, the three green teeth came out. And then a black tooth came out and then a twizzle came out with it. And, and then, then I said, I woke up because I said, I'm done. You can take me now, Lord. If you have... I like Ron Aruda though. Let me preface that by saying that. It's real difficult. I think probably I would like keep him on a low level. I would probably wish for like a thousand dollars a week to win the lottery, so I wouldn't have to work in this business. Uh, second wish would be the normal wishes, man. Good health for my family. And the third wish would be that certain people would get real mad at me and hit me for real, so I can retaliate with all the strength, all the power, all the speed all the determination, all the fury that's been building inside of me for the last five years.